I know exactly where this is going and look at Stevie T's face. Okay, so if you've clicked this video, you know we are back on Steve Terryberry. The tagline of this video is most incoherent singers. It's a Patreon request from Kyle Stewart. This is a tier list. This is going to be funny. Let's check it out. <laughs> Present. Okay, I, I have a confession to make. I am probably the worst person in the world when it comes to understanding song lyrics. Okay. See, usually I listen to the music. The lyrics I don't really care much for. Yeah, no. But then I got to thinking, who is the most unintelligible singer of all time? <laughs> well, I found a Reddit thread. It's gotta, it's, it's gotta be Ozzy Osbourne, isn't it? It's gotta be. Come on. It's gotta be. <laughs> and that's my prediction before even getting into this that I think can answer that for us. Which band musician has the most unintelligible lyrics? Kurt Cobain. So this is how singers are going to be nominated by people mentioning them in this thread. This okay. probably isn't a common answer, but I have a hard time understanding some lyrics in Brian Johnson era ACDC okay. songs. Oh, come on. What's not to understand? <laughs> okay, okay, so that's a bit of an exaggeration, it's but not. I found a way to see just how unintelligible these singers really are. Right. I'm gonna cut out the music, leaving just the singer. We're gonna see just Ooh. how unintelligible Brian okay. Johnson really oh, is. This is a this is an interesting concept because I thought it was just gonna play a clip of the song, but to just to isolate the vocals, this is gonna be interesting. Okay. Yes. Number one with a bullet, I'm a power pack. Admittedly, the rest I don't <laughs> understand at all. The guy's voice is so gravelly, he sounds like he smokes two packs a minute. Packing the van, I got a family. <laughs> Not a clue. I don't friend, no. All right, now I present to you our oh, grading okay. system. Everything from spectacular vernacular, perfectly clear singers, all okay. the way down to... <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to put ACDs... Look at that. He's just, he's just smacked the keyboard there, and he... As, as they're begging the fucking when you get 98 HG, when you actually eat Axianios. Is he going satisfactory speech? He's somewhere around mm, decent, decent dialect. dialect. Okay, I okay. Mean, decent dialect. Actually, you know what? Let me <laughs> listen to the ACDC one again. No, 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 Alt-J dangerous. hands down in my book, and it's got a ton of upvotes. I've never heard of Alt-J. Alt <laughs> Let's take a listen. Friendly reminder, I have cut out the music. Let's take a listen. You may contain the urge to run away, but hold her down with soggy clothes and breeze blocks. Citrusine, your fever scream me again. Never kisses, <laughs> or do you ever send? Okay, <laughs> what is this, Elmer Fudd? I do for two, so for two, so for two, so for two. Right, so uh, we're gonna put our uh, Alt J friend just slightly down here, <laughs> <laughs> just one step below verbal diarrhea. Well, here, here is a bold accusation. We got Ariana Grande. It's all about high pitched and losses of sense of dictation. I mean, I've I've heard a couple of Ariana Grande songs now, and I think she sings perfect. Okay, to be honest. Okay, all right. Let's see what. Let's see why he's. I've never really listened to Ariel at Large Nipple. She really was hard to understand. Well, I'll be gosh I've, darned. Yeah. <laughs> Something taste. It's like, bud, close your freaking mouth to make words. It's like she has this invisible barrier where she can't close her mouth completely. <laughs> it's like, ah, 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 ah. all right. So where should I we put it. areola grande I or large it. nipple? I'm gonna <laughs> slap her right next to side of. Oh, what is the fascination with calling Ariana Grande large nipple? Is, is there something I've missed? <laughs> so where should we put Areola Grande or Large Nipple? I'm going to slap her right next to Satisfactory Spatch. <laughs> Billy, I've never listened to Billie Eilish, so I don't know. That. Read my nephew, so I do. Read my like nephew, in interview. Solitude? Interview? Read my nephew, Interviews. so I do. Solitude. I can hear that. I can hear that. What? I can hear Pronunciation! That what are the actual lyrics for that? I, I'm, I'm just getting pissed off. Oh, it's read my, my interviews? Interview. Uh, uh, well, no, you gotta pronunciate good. interviews. No, no, you that's can't be, be like, read my <laughs> Oh, what'd you do today, Billie Eilish? <laughs> I had a job. <laughs> you know what? I find it only appropriate that Large Nipple and Billie Eilish are together at last, <laughs> because neither of them know how to close their mouth to properly pronunciate a word. Okay. Yep, 
Oh, Bjorn, right. this is swell. You almost have a fit. This guy's coaching. I got hit. There's no mistake. This is it! <laughs> this is it. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to go with the solid didn't understand a freaking word of that. Now, granted, Bjork, Bjork is Icelandic. Get Bjork! See, this just sounds like a chicken, doesn't it? Understand a freaking word of that. Now, granted, Bjork, Bjork is Icelandic. <laughs> Guessing yeah. English isn't her first language. Nope. So, with that in mind, I'm gonna be generous and put her at verbal <laughs> diarrhea. diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's the way he puts the sound effects in. It's just funny. Oh, Blink 182. When? Blink 182. Okay. Here we go. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. What's not to understand? Cannot sleep, I cannot dream tonight. It's easy. It's easy. That's that's not even a, a fast paced song. It's I miss you. And I'm so sorry. What's not to understand? He's on the Where top. Are you? I'm so, so sorry. sorry. Yeah. This is almost a case of too much pronunciation. <laughs> he just adds an extra vowel to every single yeah. word. Where are you? So I'm gonna yeah. put Blink 182 so, mm, so. at decent dialect, no. just just below cohesive crooning. You, you can't put Blink 182 with AC/DC. Come on, Steve. Be fair. You can. It's gotta be one of the top two because. You could hear every single word. I mean, with ACDC, the beginning was like, yeah, blah, blah. you know what I mean? Then you could hear the rest of it. But Blink-182 should be one of the top two. Come on, Steve, be fair. That's not fair. Single word. Where are you? Good song, man. So I'm going to put Blink-182 mm, or at decent dialect, just, just below cohesive crooning. I'm loving it. I knew this was going to be on Dylan. the list. Latter Bob day Bob Dylan. I, I, I can I assume... honestly say I've never listened to Bob Dylan. I might have heard a song, but I couldn't say, oh, that's a Bob Dylan song. That's a Bob Dylan song. It's just nothing I've ever listened to. By latter day Bob Dylan, they mean Bob Dylan. People call, say, be web doll, you're bound to fall. You thought they were all. <laughs> what? <laughs> People the call. was all right, and then he just kind of had a stroke midway through. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> People call, say beware doll. People call, say beware doll, and then find a fall. You thought they were off. Uh, find a fall. You fought fever off. <laughs> All right. So look, since I only understood like fifty percent of what he said, I'm gonna put him right in the middle. Satisfactory right speech. Right next to Billy Eilish. Yeah. Bon Iver or Boniver. I've heard of Bon Who's Iver bon before. Iver? Never heard them. Let's listen to them. Never heard of them. Without music. You know I'm burning in a bus. What? <laughs> oh, what? Exactly. <laughs> Do you want to try? Get that right down to the bottom right now. There was not one single word that was understandable there. Singing that again without cotton balls in your mouth? <laughs> All right, Boniver, I'm putting you right next to Bob Dylan for the same reasons. Bon Iver essentially sounds like a higher pitched Bob Dylan. No, no, no. See, no, because there was nothing you could understand, nothing. Stevie's doing this chart wrong. That should be right at the bottom. <laughs> With as I got version number good nine HG, that's where it should be. That's what it sounded like. Come on, Steve. Bon Iver essentially sounds like me. a higher pitched Bob Dylan. Oh come on! What's not to understand? Learn of the dissonance and the fear. Fire up the chainsaw. Hey, I heard that. Fire up. I'm with him there because music like that. When I do reactions to it and they, they scream that high pitched or that low down. I can't understand a freaking word they say. It's, it's it's just screaming noises to me, and I don't know what they're saying. You know what I mean? And that, again, should be incoherent and be right on the bottom. Fire up the chainsaw! Fire up the chainsaw, hey, I, I got that. that. Fire up the chainsaw! Yeah. Fire up the chainsaw! See, look! This is growling vocals, yeah. yet it's still more understandable Turned. than Boniver. <laughs> Although but why we do you cannot... put Boniver with, like, satisfactory then? Classify metal as being hard to understand because it's growling vocals. None of us understand what they're saying. No. Some of us claim to. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. None of us can understand no. what. Facts. Facts. 
<laughs> means. So this is not really fair, but I think Cannibal Corpse diarrhea. would appreciate being put under verbal diarrhea. Yes. Because that's essentially what their lyrics are. Well, the thing is there, where he's put Cannibal Corpse at verbal diarrhea because he couldn't understand the words, what he's saying. He got the last bit, the chainsaw. Bon Iver, he got nothing, and he's put him higher at satisfactory speech, and I'm still not, I'm still not happy with that. <laughs> You're gonna do it, do it right. You know what I mean? Appreciate being put under verbal diarrhea because that's essentially what their <laughs> lyrics are. Cocktail twins. Hey? This one I saw a lot of people recommending, tons of upvotes. I'm really curious about this one. <laughs> What? Yeah, and so. <laughs> the thing about this is there's so much effects on the voice, yeah. and I'm assuming it's even harder to understand when the music is in there. I feel sorry for Cocktail Twins fans. <laughs> They're just at the concert like... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that's what you do at Cocktail Concerts. <laughs> cocktail Steve. Twins. I'm moving on. Unless you guys want to take another look at the Cocktail Twins. <laughs> I'll move on for sure. Right, I, could, I, could, I could have done without them visuals, Steve. Come on. <laughs> They've got to go in verbal diarrhea. And since I didn't understand a single oh, word, I'm going to put Cocktail Twins uh, somewhere around here. Yeah. Converge. <laughs> All right, here's another band that's like <laughs> metal, growly vocals. Again, hard to, um, well, let's listen. There is something gross in my puppet cat. That's why I'm trying. This man is going through some stuff. Yes. <laughs> sounds like he's going through some actual gravel. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Man is going through some stuff. Wow. <laughs> 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 My pup had gas. My pup had gas. Somehow I don't think that's it. No, so since well, Converge's pup had gas, I'm gonna put them under verbal <laughs> diarrhea. Deftones. I can't understand a thing Chino says. I have right. to admit something. I have barely ever listened to Deftones. Me too. Now let's just see how unintelligible Chino really is. I'm the new king, I'll take the queen. I heard a boob cake, <laughs> I'll take the cream. I'm the new king. <laughs> I feel like this is a band where he's oh, the cream. No. Oh, he just took a screenshot of when he ripped his t-shirt up. I could have done without that visual before, and now I don't want it again, and now I've got it again, but it's on a cake. Fuck Steve. Stop it! <laughs> New King. I feel like this is a band where if you listen to them a lot, they're much easier to understand. You know what? <laughs> I, I'm just gonna put Deftones somewhere around the middle because I'm just confused. No. The Saint of City. These oh, come on. Gotta be lower than that because you didn't hear any single words. It's a god ass face. Okay. Yep. They actually are hard to understand. Let's hear. Okay. Am I more? Than you bargained for. Yeah. And even then, it sounds for. like he said boogied. Am yeah. I more than you boogied for? Bargain and for. another thing about Patrick Stuppy Wumpy, he does not complete some words like bargained. Bargain. And here's Patrick Stump pronouncing anything. anything. So he basically <laughs> takes words and chops them in ha. That being said, though, <laughs> I'll put Fall Out Boy somewhere. <laughs> chops them in ha. Uh, I like that. I like that. That's words good. and chops them in ha. That being <laughs> like that. said, though, I'll put Fall Out Boy somewhere slightly Decent above dialect. average in terms of yeah. mumbleability. I think Gojira deserves oh, a special go. spot on this list. Love their songs, but don't know what they're saying unless I Facts. read the lyrics. So let's just take a little Facts. looky poo. The Great Pacific Garbage Match is exhausted! Patrick is exhausting. Yes. Patrick's exhausted! <laughs> the Great Pacific Garbage. The Great Pacific Garbage match is exhausted! Pat Patrick's exhausting. Okay. Thanks, Gajira. But I could only hear it because he said it. Otherwise, there'd have been. I'd have heard garbage. I, I heard garbage without him saying out. Patrick's exhausting. Thanks, Gajira. Yeah, see, <laughs> this is growling dialects. vocals again, but even faster this time, so it's even harder to understand. I'm going to put them right next to uh, Bajork. Insomniac really? Green Day for me. What's not to understand? 
<laughs> Gotta say, I've never heard Billy Joe Armstrong without music. Here we go. No rest for cross shops in my mind. Like, <laughs> what the hell was that? No rest for grass chops in my No rest for grass chops? Grass chops. <laughs> what are we shops. having for dinner tonight? Grass <laughs> chops. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow we'll have pork chops. Oh. No. No! Tonight. No. Grass <laughs> Maybe tomorrow we'll have Park Top. <laughs> what was your favorite 90s kids show? I bet, his, I bet his keyboard and his microphone is now covered in spit after doing that little bit of a sketch. There's no Maybe way. Maybe tomorrow we'll have Park Top. <laughs> what was your favorite 90s kids show? Wham! <laughs> now that my lens is completely covered in spit, thank you, Billy. I gotta tell you, years of listening to that song, I still don't know what the f that's even saying. But for the most part, Billy Joe Armstrong is not that hard to understand. No. Hate Beak? Eh? Never heard of them? No. But they have quite a few of votes. We'll take a listen. That's, that's music. The singer of this band is a bird. Are you freaking kidding me? I wonder why you can't understand a word. Well, maybe it's because it's a freaking. So unfortunately, I have to put Hate Beak at the lowest tier because yeah. their singer is of the aviation variety. <laughs> All right, Meshuga, LOL. Or sorry, Mescahoga. Mescahoga. God, they're they're just throwing every metal band under the bus, hey? My crimson liquids so frantically swell. My grandson no, liquids a fantasy squirrel? My grandson liquids a fantasy squirrel! <laughs> That's it! <laughs> Not a word. Now, no. in terms of growling or screaming, Not Meshuga word, is actually even harder to understand than the typical. So I'm actually going to put them a step lower yeah. into I like juice! My bloody valentine, not He's doing it properly now. He's doing it properly now because I, I actually agree with what he's doing. My bloody Valentine. Right, let's go. Sure if I made a single word out of my first listen to Loveless. And again, lots of upvotes. My bloody Valentine. Never heard any of their stuff before. Let's right. hear their singing. That sounds like when you, when, like years and years ago, when you used to have a tape and it chewed up. Or if you play something backwards, that's what it sounded like after the first words. What's mumbling? There's way too much effects on that to even throw out a guess. Yeah, no, it's way too mumbly. Yeah. Way too effecty. Way too mumbly. So once again, because I can't understand a single word. Bottom. Nirvana. It's honestly too... I said that at the beginning. Kurt Cobain's got to be on this list. And so has Ozzy Osbourne. He's got to be on this list as well. They've got to have both of them Much up. for my South Asian ears to decipher. I'm a lotto, I'm a bino, I'm a skato, yeah, see, here's the thing. If I didn't know the lyrics already, yeah. I probably wouldn't have a clue exactly. what he's saying. A mosquito, a libido, like, even if he is singing clearly, it's hard for your brain to hear those Processing. words because it just doesn't make sense. No. But I'm going to put Nirvana somewhere around here. No. Because even though Kurt Cobain kind of sounds like he sings with a mouthful of marbles, he's not that bad. No, he's got he's to gotta go down a bit more than that. I mean, has he taken that from Weird Al Yankovic to Mouthful of Marbles? Because... He, he did the parody, didn't he, with um, the marbles in my mouth. <laughs> Kurt Cobain kind of sounds like he sings with a mouthful of marbles. Yeah. He's not that bad. Ozzy knew this was coming. His interviews more than his singing. That is very <laughs> true. Let's hear him sing. His interviews are amazing. Well, what I've seen anyway. Watching all of history repeat itself. Watching all of history repeat itself. Yes. Clear as day. Now let's listen to an interview. <laughs> you sober now? No, no, yeah. yeah. I'm, 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 so I'm going to put Oz, singing Ozzy somewhere <laughs> above the rest because he is very clear at singing. <laughs> and Ozzy talking, uh, I mean, if there was only a place I could put him yeah. lower. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, Ozzy gets his own separate category for Ozzy talking. That interview I hadn't, I hadn't seen before. The, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> That was amazing. Ozzy talking? Uh, I mean, <laughs> if there was only a place I could put him lower, I mean... I don't know a lot about Pearl Jam. Look at all those upvotes. Uh, this has got to be number one. Pearl Jam. <laughs> Not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> he could be singing about titty twisting a rare African squirrel, and I wouldn't know the difference. No. Now, while Eddie Vedder is actually an amazing singer, in terms of clarity, I can't put him any, any higher than verbal diarrhea. Playboy Cardi. I barely understand what he says Eddie sober, Cardi. and when drunk, it's a trip. Uh, I'm Not assuming this is, is going to be our first mumble rapper. It's oh, been far too rapper, long right, without okay. one. I need a day ready to drill, yeah. I got a nigga in rap, yeah. My young nigga, they came from hell. That chopper go around like a ferris wheel. Go down like a ferris wheel. But a ferris wheel. What? <laughs> God, it sounds, sounds like, a baby. like my one-year-old nephew baby, when yeah. you don't know what he wants. So, I mean... Button. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm starting yes. rancid. Mm-hmm. That's right. I haven't listened to Rancid in a long time, but here's oh. my prediction. Tim Armstrong of Rancid. I don't even know who Rancid is. Oh my god, it's a splink stick. Like what? <laughs> That's funny. And I cannot cloud it all. Oh, Tim funny. Armstrong is literally a mix of stroke and mumble rapper. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> that's like a teenager is like, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> and because Tim Armstrong sounds like he only gives 20% effort when he sings, I'm, I'm putting idiot. him at satisfactory oh, speech. Okay. R.E.M. The earlier, the less intelligible. Oh, 334 yeah. upvotes, too. Team, my team reporters babble Trump, Tether Crop. Look at that low plane. Fine. Dad. Look at that little plane. Okay. I understood a solid half of the words there. Yeah. Team, my team reporters babble Trump. Team, my team reporters baffle Trump. Look at that low plane. Fine. Dad. What, like, what is that? What is okay. that? Fine. Dad. Fine. Uh. You see, Losing My Religion is a much easier song to That's understand. That being said, I'll give them decent dialect. Yeah. See? Put them right over here. That's them in the corner. <laughs> I see what you did, Stevie. You put them in the corner like like the uh, Losing My Religion lyric. Right, okay. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Really? Really? A lot of upvotes, too. <laughs> I, I gotta tell you. So see, Stevie's on the same wavelength half the time. Really? Really? <laughs> really? A lot of upvotes, too. I, I gotta tell you. Sometimes it feels like I don't have a partner. That's... What is hard to understand about Red Hot Chili Peppers? I realize I don't want to be a miser. Confined with sly up in a wine tub. Confined with sly up in a wine tub? Okay, the lyrics are confined with sly, you'll okay. be the wiser. Confined with sly, I'll be the wiser. Oh, okay, it does sound like that. Yeah. Uh, again, this is a case of the lyrics being so stupid, you can't yeah, make it yeah, out. Yeah. But in terms of Anthony Kiedis' vocals, clarity-wise, I yeah. have to, you know what? There's no one here, I'm giving him spectacular <laughs> vernacular. Very well dictative singer. Uh, yeah, but think he should be up there then, Blink-182. Because that was easy to hear as well. Shaggy. It wasn't me. <laughs> Spectacular vernacular. Very well dictative singer. That, that, that's right. That, that's right. <laughs> oh, you forgive the woman access to your villa. Chest was on a weakness, all of your clean on your pillar. It wasn't me. You better me. watch your back before she turn into a killer. You better watch your back before, before she turns into a killer. killer. But the rest of no. that is just like a mumbling fish flapping around having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> now, I bought Shaggy's Hot Shots album when it came out when I was a kid because I loved It Wasn't Me. And it pains me to have to do this, but I'm putting them at the bottom tier. Oh, because I no. have never understood a single word One the above. guy's ever said. One above, because you've just got the killer line. 
<laughs> Me and Stevie differ on certain things in this chat, in this uh, tier list, let's say. Because I have never understood a single word the guy's ever said. Ashing Pumpkins, only mm -hmm. a couple of them. I, I do have to... I've heard a couple of their songs. I, I don't know a lot of their songs, but I mean... I, yeah, okay. Say, though, I never really took uh, Smashing Pumpkins as being hard to understand. No, we don't even <laughs> care yeah. to shake these apple blooms. Shake these apple blooms? God, so freaking nasally, though. Like, yeah. Maybe that's why people have a hard time understanding them. <laughs> so Billy Corgan, very nasally, but not that incohesive. So I'm gonna put him somewhere in the middle. Satisfactory yeah. speech. No one is gonna say the police sting. Really? I'll say it. I'll say it right here. Yeah, but he's, he's, he's out. <laughs> That's the wrestler. Uh, Steve's already pin pinched, punched uh, Sting for looking at his sister in another video. He's, he he loves going on Sting. This guy. <laughs> is gonna say the police sting. I'll say it. I'll say it right here. Sting is impossible to understand. <laughs> the starting of a brand new day. I got the last part, right? but the part before that is like something about stand on a melon. <laughs> so I'm going to put Sting somewhere <laughs> slightly below average because even Family Guy has made fun of his incohesive lyrics. Oh, okay. Bam. What's not to understand? That's very accurate. Pretty cohesive. Wake up, wake up. Grab brush and put a little makeup. I just got to fade away the shake up. Why'd you leave the keys up on the table? I do have to admit, if I didn't know the lyrics, I wouldn't understand a word of that. I I should put a little makeup. This is just incohesive jibber 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 doop. But it is kind of system of a downs oh. thing to have weird vocals like that. So I'm going to put them at satisfactory, satisfactory speech yeah. just because of the <laughs> makeup. The 1975, <laughs> quite a few upvotes as well. But here's the thing about the 1975. Very British. Oi, bruv. My fine day of 1975, innit? You and me's going to fall out. I'm British and I don't sound like that, do I? <laughs> Why does everyone do a British accent like that? It, it, there's, a, there's a variety of them that you could choose from. And they always do that stupid one. All right, mate. Hey, hey. It's like, no, stop it. Stop it. Stop it right now. <laughs> it's okay. Ish. Oi, bruv. My fine day of 1975, innit? And don't call it fire when you know it's war. And don't call it fire when you know it's war. See what I mean? You can Sounds just tell Australian. he had a pint before singing this. <laughs> and don't call it fight. Don't call it fight. Like, that's the most British thing I've ever heard in my life. Now, <laughs> it's all a matter of perspective. I'm sure for British people, he's easy as hell to understand. And maybe they have a hard time <laughs> understanding Frank Sinatra. But from a North American perspective, Shut I can't up. put them any higher than <laughs> mid-tier. All right, I'm going to give them a bit Decent of leniency dialect. because of their accent. Decent dialect. Yeah. How is Tom Waits not listed in top Who's five? Who's Tom Waits? I've never actually listened to Tom Waits, but I have heard before <laughs> that he's impossible to understand. Right. So let's take a little cook nee 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 nee. My head is a spinning round. My head is a spinning round. God, what the hell was that? Something was someone stomping on his nuts while he was singing that? <laughs> 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 now, unfortunately, we don't have a crackhead Muppet section, so I'm putting him in verbal <laughs> diarrhea. Muppet oh. section. Oh, <sighs> we found the king. The girl and Skilati. Five million and forty naughty shawty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? That's some killer tit. <laughs> oh, of all the things he could go back to, it's his nipples again. Stevie, stop it! Stevie, terrible nipples, I'm going to start calling him if he carries on with this. Wow. Five million and farting on this here tit. <laughs> Five million and farting on this here tit? <laughs> Five million and farting on this here tit. So bottom tier for Sean Paul, no surprises there. Okay. <laughs>
Ah, I know where this is going. I know exactly where this is going. And look at Stevie T's face. We're going to be going to the... Ooh, ah, 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 ooh. <laughs> We're going to go to that performance. I know we are. I know it. I know it. Oh, he's like the best to the last. Look at his face. This is going to be funny. Oh, Sean Paul, no surprises there. <laughs> you know what? An occasion such as this deserves special treatment. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't you dare put her up there. <laughs> ah! Well, there you have I'm it. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yoko Ono is lower than as good to win 98 HD. <laughs> I love the fact he played so much epic music like it was part of a film and it was something really, really spectacular that it was going to happen. Oh, it's, do you know what? That last one's killed me off. Oh. Steve, all is forgiven with the nipples, mate. All is forgiven. Just for the fact you put Yoko Ono on this list. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. I feel pretty good about this list. Let me know oh. in the comment section if you agree with me or if there's anything you would change. Yeah. All right, well, thank you guys so much for that watching. And if you enjoyed what worth I do, it hit har har har. And be sure to watch another har 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 har. <laughs> and always remember. <laughs> Don't get your nipples out yeah. at the end. Oh, do you know, like sometimes when he goes at the end of the video and he, and he lifts, like he shows like a picture of something that's happened in the video. And he, I'd expected that at the end with his rock music. Oh my God, the the ending killed me. The, I mean, some of parts of it were funny in this that you've now started disagreeing with, etc. But I mean that end, that ending, Yoko Ono, Yoko Ono, because I've seen the the uh, video he did of actual Yoko Ono screaming. I was I was just like, I just knew where it was going. Knew exactly where it was going. Well played, Steve. Well played. Anyway, what did you guys think of this reaction? Let me know in the comments. If you want to check out any more Stevie T reactions, there'll be a playlist right there. Don't forget to subscribe, and I shall see you all in the next video.